Welcome back. Well, tracking some significant storms and now a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Colorado light right now. Let's take you to the Lyman area. As you know, it's right near Hugo and uh, Warland there. That's where we're tracking a significant cell. Quite a bit of lightning with this storm. As you notice, the little blue box, that gives us kind of an indication of what this storm potentially could produce. And again, this is a rating on 1 to 10. So the closer to 10, that's the more likely that particular weather event could happen. So again, flooding looks to be the highest. We are showing some weakness rotation in these storms. I'm not anticipating that we're going to see much more than a funnel cloud out of these storms, but again, just keep in mind they are showing some minor rotation. A little bit further south again, that storm system is combining with another storm system that moved through the Walsenburg and Pueblo area earlier. This one not showing nearly as much rotation still does have the impacts of flooding, likely going to see some small hail out of pretty much all of these storms and heavy periods of rain. Now, the system that uh, we did have the severe thunderstorm warning issued for Again, just into the eastern portions of the state right now. That's set to expire at 615. So these cells are starting to mature as they move throughout eastern Colorado. The main impacts, a little bit of hail. Again, gusty winds and some rotation, so keep that in mind. The system right now moving over top of Walsenburg. More rain than anything. Could see some pockets of light hail. Do keep that in mind. But again, this is kind of where those storms have been stemming from into the southwestern portion of the state. And as they make their way into the eastern portions and hit that warmer air, that's when they're really maturing and picking up strength. So here's how things have been trending. There's a little storm that passed through Pueblo earlier. That's the video we showed you uh, leading up to first weather with some real heavy rain. And notice these storm systems here. Here trying to combine. If we do see these storms continue to pick up strength, the area we're going to keep our eye on is going to be just north of Lamar there. Usually the southern end of those storms is where we'll see the most severe storms start to kick off. As for the sky cast, here's how the rest of the afternoon and evening will play out. There's that storm system that moves right across uh, I-70. Should be out of the area though by about 7 tonight. We'll see a stronger cell again move down through Springfield up through about 10 tonight. So again, these storms do have the potential of picking up Strength. We've got a lot of weather elements to work with this afternoon. And again, there was that little bit of a trigger to kind of instigate these storms to kick off. But the good news is bright and early into your Monday morning, those storms should start to die down after midnight. Lows this evening into the 50s pretty much all across the board, 30s and 40s into the high terrain. Tomorrow looking at 83 in Colorado Springs, 90s throughout the eastern plains, 60s and 70s in the high terrain. As for the next seven, we're going to hang on to that chance of moisture Monday afternoon, very similar to today. Storms moving throughout the eastern plains have the potential of Picking up some strength as the afternoon rolls around. Staying dry Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday right now looks to be the warmest of the next seven. Next chance of moisture moves in on Thursday. Pueblo, same story. 89 boosting those temps up to 91 degrees. Again, storms returning to the forecast on Thursday. Looks to stay fairly dry, though, for next weekend. Thank goodness. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy that. Canyon City, we're looking at again. Afternoon showers moving through the area Monday. Temperatures mellowing out a bit into the high 70s for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Storms could linger a little bit longer into the high terrain. Notice when we take you into Teller County, those storms move back in on Wednesday, last through Friday. So, again, afternoon showers are going to be the big story into the high terrain. As for the eastern plain, should stay fairly dry this next week. But again, tonight and tomorrow evening, we're definitely want to keeping, uh, definitely want to keep an eye to the sky. Just a lot of weather elements that can kick off some severe weather. All right, stay tuned. Yeah, definitely. Jason, thanks a lot. Josh is here with sports. Could